Welcome to Just Game Babe. In this video, we are going to compare Assassin's Creed Valhalla and God of War. These two games are very different, but they do have a lot of similar gameplay mechanics. We are going to compare animations, environment, graphics, overall gameplay, and more. Game length. God of War will take you about 20 hours to finish the main story and about 50 to 60 hours to complete everything, including side quests. Valhalla being an open world game will take you slightly longer, about 50 hours to finish the main story and 120 hours to see and complete everything else in the game. Price God of War is priced at $10 and Valhalla at $60. Environment Assassin's Creed definitely has the bigger map and more things to do, and if you are a fan of Vikings, you will love Valhalla's environment and the characters around. Valhalla also has a wide number of enemies, so if you want to go, and pick a fist fight with a polar bear, this is the game. God of War on the other hand has a mostly linear map, but everything the game does have is high quality. The world is filled with mythical creatures for you to slay. The art design is spectacular and definitely holds up in 2020, almost 3 years since its release. Animations. Since there are so many things to do in Valhalla, some of them can have slightly wonky animations. Parkour animations can feel old and weak, but walking, swimming and horseback riding does feel good. God of War is definitely more polished and almost all the animations do feel great. Jumping over obstacles, climbing, all of these feel very impactful. Graphics. Valhalla looks great at certain points and average at others. Norway look very good in my opinion. I love the snowy mountains. God of War is just beautiful. The game looks great no matter where you are. It does look better than most games released in 2020. The game has scenic view after scenic view for you to enjoy. Characters. You can play as a male or female character in Valhalla and they are alright, but my favorite character is King Alfred. I love King Alfred before playing the game and I like him even more now. Kratos is iconic in the gaming industry. We get to see him as a father in this one and the interaction between father and son is sometimes funny but always amusing. The characters you meet on this journey like the stranger and Freya are interesting too. Well, punching the hell out of the stranger was a nice interaction. <laughs> and here I thought you were kind. You're supposed to be so annoying. Conclusion. Both these games are good, but objectively, God of War is better. Valhalla is fun, but is it really worth the full price? Well, that's up to you. Do you love exploring? Then Valhalla has so many great areas for you to explore, like Norway, England, and even Asuka. That's it for today. Hope you enjoyed the video. And make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. I'll appreciate it a lot. Have a good day.